welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the great state of Michigan. If you're new to the channel, I'm James. And as you can tell by the weather outside, that's right, it is snowing outside. So, only fitting to install the new blower motor on the 99 Grand Voyager, you guys. So, let me grab my tools, let's put some heat on, and let's start tearing into this van, y'all. So just to show you guys what we're talking about here, we will turn the ignition on, okay? And as you can see, we got the heat to the hot setting. We got it on defrost. But then you turn your blower motor on, and nothing happens. See that? So that's a good indication it is not a relay. It is, in fact, the blower motor. So the blower motor is located down here. The very first thing we're going to do open our glove box and remove these straps right here is one here and there's another one over there all right so let's pop these guys off right here there's one there's two okay and this folds down and then there's like a little snap right here i don't know if you guys can see it or not right here and i'm guessing that if we push on this it should just pop out on the back side hopefully Okay, there's that one how about these there okay here we go there's that one and then try this again boom okay so and now we remove the glove box okay next i'm going to disconnect this because i believe this is the power source to our blower motor which is inside this plastic case so push up pop off grab a screwdriver press right here hold down a little bit and it should just pop off. There it goes. And now we're disconnected. Now you can lift this up and over like this. Okay, after removing all those bolts, this cover pops off here. Somehow, some way. And there we go. Our cover is off. Now we have access to our blower motor. Well, folks, there's our blower motor. I believe we have three, three bolts holding it together. And then we're going to have to shove the wire loom through with a screwdriver. So I'm going to take these three bolts off and see if this thing drops down. All right. Let's see if I can shove this through with a screwdriver. Ugh. Okay. Our wire loom is free. All right, so we'll show the rest of this through. And then, hopefully, well, let me leave this light out a little bit. Well, here it comes. Here we go. Oh, she's a fighter. Come on, baby. And I think we have a blower motor. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this crusty bastard. Oh, yeah, she's locked up clean. All right. Well, let me get this little wiring harness through. And there it is, boys and girls. Look at this. It won't even turn. Ugh! Ugh! Oh my God, this thing's junk. Well, let's plug the new one in and let's see what happens, folks. So check it out. Here's our old motor, folks. And it's, it's actually hard to turn. Hear me? Hear that sound, you guys? Yeah, so I'm guessing the back looks all juicy. So I'm guessing this is probably the reason why the fan motor is not spinning anymore because it physically can't. So we have our new one right here. And as you can see, nice and pretty white. Spins really easy. Got a nice wiring harness with some shrink wrap on it. Looks like a nice connection. So uh, yeah, we're gonna throw this puppy in there and uh, see if it works. Now here is the hole where the motor goes. You can see up here where the intake is coming from your like vents on your uh, hood. And uh, you can see the bolts were. And uh, now we're ready to install the new one. All right, folks, as you can see, we have reinstalled the new motor up here. Now we're gonna take this wiring harness and we're gonna shove it back through the hole and uh, hook it back up to the connection up above. Okay, so I have tried to put this wiring harness right here through 
this hole and it just will not fit it's just too big okay so what i've decided to do is i don't really want to cut it so i'm gonna do is we're gonna use a little fire folks yeah fire and i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna heat this up a little bit and just so i can get it to melt a little bit just so i can pry it apart just so i can get this through there that's all we're not trying to set the dash on fire in the minivan so here we go let's so we don't burn the car down okay we're gonna just kind of go back and forth here on this opening here we don't want it to catch on fire we just want to soften up the plastic is all we want to do Ooh. got a little bit of heat there that's okay though that's okay that sees us oh there it goes there it goes there it goes perfect see that that's all we wanted that is all we wanted right there just a little just a little plastic fantastic right there folks all right now let's see how this works oh almost come on baby work for me here oh i think we got it we got it there it is folks check it out and we are through all right push our grommet through that they gave us all right we'll shove that back through see look at that if i clean this plastic up right here a little bit you'll never even know that we had to melt it to get it through folks look at that and then we'll plug it in let's see i think it's got to be this way right here all right click all right and we are in business folks oh pop back out not clipping into place though mm. all right we are good to go folks now i just gotta put it back over here we should be good to go there it is look at that good as new folks good as new all right now we're gonna install this cover back underneath here and screw it back in to seal our motor back into place all right as you can see we have reinstalled the cover that's right so now our motor is all sealed up again now we just got to put the glove box back in all right and then we put this in here like this just like this and that clips in just got to hook these guys back up inside of here all right folks as you can see we have gotten them reattached over there and over there so now glove box is good well let's turn the car on and let's see if our fan motor works well folks let's see if all of our hard work paid off turn the key please all right well we got set to vent let's see what happens here uh-oh uh-oh that's not good oh hey we do have a blower motor. Woo, look at all the dust blowing in our face. It's been years since that thing's ran. You can see the dust on the camera blowing in our face. Well, at least we know it works, right? I watched a video on this, and they said that if your fan only works on one speed or two, that means you got a bad, uh, I think it's a bad relay. So I guess I got to get a relay for it. But at least now... We do, in fact, have heat. It's just we have all or nothing. So stay tuned to part two of this where we throw a new relay in this bad boy. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for this one. What would you think? Now, I can tell you what, laying on your back, it took me about a couple of hours to do it. Got a little frustrated doing the job. Had to lay down something so I could lay across and do the job. But we finally got it done. We're very happy. The van now has heat even though we only got high we do have heat so i get a relay for it and then all the then all the different um settings will work and then we'll be in really good business but at least now when you're out riding around this pig you're not freezing so if you guys enjoyed our how-to video on the van give us a like smash that subscribe button and we will catch you guys in the next one peace everybody